Uh, dear participants of our virtual fair, future students, their relatives and friends, we are welcoming you today on uh, our second um, day. Today, on the t uh, 24th uh, of December, we would like to welcome our next participant of our virtual uh, fair, Sabrina Federal University, which is a modern multidisciplinary university located in the eastern part of Russia, in the city of Krasnoyarsk, that combines fundamental and applied research and teaching. Uh, it is the first federal university in Russia, which is the highest category um, of Russian education and research institutions along with the Lomonosov Moscow State University and St. Petersburg State University. So the university holds a uh, top position, uh, position in Russian universities rankings. It is the ninth in the uh, Russian university uh, ranking called ARES. So the twelfth in the total national rating of universities. A rating is composed by Interfax and Echo of Moscow. It is the seventh in, in the section of innovations and entrepreneurship and the sixth in the place in the section of education. So it was awarded also four stars in QES university rankings. The Siberian Federal University was ranked 14 among Russian universities in the international rankings Web of Science, composed by uh, Thomas Reuters, and ranking of Web of World Universities. It is uh, an interesting fact to mention that the chairman of the university's uh, board of trustees is Dmitry Medvedev, a deputy chairman of uh, the Security Council and the former president and prime minister of the Russian Federation. So the Siberian Federal University participates in the international collaboration and integration into international research and education space. The university's fundamental and applied research is closely connected with the institutions of the Siberian Division of the Russian Academy of Science. Many scientists from this institution are professors and lecturers at, um, at this, uh, the above-mentioned university. So the Siberian Federal University has its own large university press, which includes the Scientific Journal of the Siberian Federal University. So today, uh, Siberian Federal University is the largest higher educational institution in Siberia and consists of 19 institutes with more than 3,000 faculty staff teaching 41,000 students. In Siberian Federal University, much attention is devoted to the development of international collaboration and integration into international research and education space. The International Department has been established to collect and spread information about various scholarship programs and grants such as German Academic Exchange Service, International Research and Exchange Board, the American Councils for International Education, Fulbright and others. So for the present moment, the university has close contacts with institutions and universities in countries such as Great Britain, Germany, Spain, France, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Italy, Japan, the United States, the People's Republic of China, Vietnam, Uzbekistan, Turkey, Singapore, Mongolia and the Republic of Korea. And the special attention is paid to the development of relationships with the CIS and CCO countries. At present, over 200 international students are studying at uh, uh, Siberian Federal University. Foreign professors from China, Japan, Turkey and Italy are working at uh, Fe uh, Siberian Federal University. Over 200 professors, uh, the leading national and foreign, uh, and foreign universities read lectures at uh, this university. So I must admit that this university has a huge history and strong background. The representative of the Siberian University now will tell us even more about it. Please, uh, Ms. Olga, you are welcome to continue. Thank you. Thank you, Olga. Dear participants, dear colleagues, partners and prospective partners, my name is Anna Makrishiva and it's my great pleasure to greet you on behalf of Siberian Federal University. First of all, I'd like to thank all the organizers of the event for inviting us to participate. It's extremely important now for the universities and uh, for the students to be in touch with each other and to search for new minds who don't give up and continue self-development no matter how challenging and how unstable the world around is. I'm going to tell you about the university I come from, focusing on the few programs most suitable for international students. Okay, Ms. Ole, can you make your um, volume a bit louder for us to listen to you better? Just a little bit, please. Okay, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our university belongs yes. to a group mm -hmm. of millennial universities. These are the universities which are 50 years old or younger. In 2019, the Times Higher Education Ranking included 12, 351 universities in the list. And our university sits there in 55th position. Siberian Federal was established in 2006 by a merger of five educational institutions in the city of Krasnodar. It was the first federal university in Russia, followed by another nine universities in the pool. Nowadays, it's among the biggest Russian universities, and since its foundation, it has belonged to the country's top 20 universities. At our 21 schools, we train more than 26,000 students, about a thousand of whom are internationals, coming from nearly 50 countries in the world. Krasnoyarsk is among the biggest Siberian cities. We are located in the eastern Siberia. The city is divided into two so-called right and left banks by the river Yenisei, which belongs to the 10 Russia's most powerful rivers. It's an official fact, you can find this information in the Wikipedia, for example, that the geographical center of Russia, lake that is called Vivi, is located in the Krasnoyarsk region. Traditionally, Krasnoyarsk has always been an industrial city, as well as the region in general. The region is the home for such large internationally known businesses as the aluminum producer Rosal, Naruski Nickel, unit of Krasnoyarsk non curious metal plant, and others. They all have been the university's long-standing partner, by the way. In March 2019, Krasnoyarsk and Siberian Federal University particularly hosted the Winter University Aid, an international multi-sport event which greatly impacted on city life and whose legacy resulted not only in new sport venues and facilities, but also in improved city infrastructure. It was a, it was a huge experience for the city and for the university, so now we're sure that we can properly welcome our international visitors, partners, and guests. Yes, okay. We have a wide choice of programs of all the degrees possible. There are 109 undergraduate degree programs, 187 master's programs taught in Russia, five master's programs taught in English. We also have programs of doctoral degrees and our unique non-degree foundation year of Russian as a foreign language. I'd like to emphasize that all our bachelor's degree programs are taught in Russia, so all applicants are expected to demonstrate a suitable level of Russian language proficiency, which has to be confirmed by a TOEFL 1 certificate. Uh, TOEFL stands for Test of Russian as a Foreign Language. In case you don't have one, we offer you our Russian language course. Now we have one course available from February to August. Mm -hmm. uh, the course is 90,000 rubles. Uh, Miss Olga, I just I want to mention in front of the audience, uh, in front of our students who are interested to come to your city, that this is a real advantage of your university that uh, the, the cost um, of the uh, tuition fees for the preparatory course is much lower than in comparison with uh, Moscow or St. Petersburg. It's quite much affordable for us, for, for them. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, due to the fact that we are a young and modern university, our campus has been developing since the year of establishment. We have 30 on-campus dorms, and we are currently developing yet one more high-rise student dormitory. It's going to be an apartment-style residence. The university has got five sites in the city. On each location, we have lecture halls and dorms, so that most times students don't need to commute to their study place. They can just walk there from the dorm without using any buses or taxis or whatever. Mm -hmm. The campus is spacious and modern with a lot of green spaces where it's pleasant to relax. Well, with wide spaces in winter, <laughs> of course. And Saturday and Federal University is proud to offer a highly developed sports infrastructure to its students and staff. We have 30 gyms, including the ones in students' dormitories. 
Just for Are gyms for right? free or students have to pay just a little bit of uh, For students fee? and for staff it's for free. Also. Oh, uh, uh, great, yeah. Yeah, and we have also track and field stadiums, indoor and outdoor football pitches. And our newest core development is a mini golf course. So people with a healthy lifestyle philosophy, both students and staff, will, will find a lot of support for maintaining it. Before I say goodbye, I'd like to draw your attention to the following important information. Now we have classes in courses in online mode for only new international students. When international travel with this or that country becomes possible, our international students, both current, current and freshly enrolled, will be receiving an invitation letter to apply for an inside view. When they arrive at place, they will just be proceeding from the point where they stopped and went. We have so much more to show to you and share with you, so please contact us. We'll be happy to respond to your queries. And well, the best way will be to come when it's possible and see everything with your own eyes, to touch it and to feel it. You are wholeheartedly welcome to join us at Baron Federal University. Thanks a lot for investing your time to follow our presentation. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for a nice presentation. If, uh -huh. if you have uh, anything else to show us, you can continue. If not, we can smoothly come to the questions from our students. Sure, we can come to the, to the questions. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you kindly tell us, do you have any dual um, or double degree dip, uh, programs? Yes, uh, we have some uh, double degree programs. Uh, as far as I know, we have at least one program uh, in Spanish language with the University of Cadiz. And we have two more, but I'm not quite sure that they're available now, but I can consult with the specialists and then we will provide with the information to all, all, all the students, all the applicants who are interested in these programs. Okay, I see a question from a student in India regarding the cost of the English taught program. Um, well, we have five English taught programs, uh, petroleum chemistry and refining. Mm -hmm. uh, the cost is 260,000 rubles. Okay. Digital intelligence control system, the, co the cost is the same. And uh, three more programs, data science and mathematical modeling, biological engineering and banking. The cost is 250,000 rubles per year. Uh -huh. And the program lasts for two years. So you should... Uh, Consider it. But the, the, the thing is that the preparatory uh, uh, course uh, of English is compulsory. So it, it, it one year plus one year, am I right? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. One year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us come to another question from uh, Audrey Underwood. Yeah. Uh, when borders will be open for international students to come to your university? Thank you, Audrey, for your question. Uh, it's a it's a tricky question, I think, because uh, the borders with different countries open from time to time, and it's almost impossible to predict when uh, the border with this or that country open. But we try to react um, as fast as we can. So if we see that the border with this country opens, and we have some applicants, we let them know that uh, it's it's possible now to prepare an invitation letter to get a visa and to come to us. So we try to uh, to check all the updates concerning this question. There mm -hmm. is the list uh, of the countries, uh, the borders with which are open, but unfortunately, there are only a few of them. Yeah, thank you very much for your answer. And maybe the last question for today is regarding, um, uh, do you have, just a moment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you have any distance learning program uh, taking into account the COVID-19 situation? Sure, the majority of our programs now, or maybe the, all the all programs now are organized in the online mode. So it's possible to um, to talk with the professors individually, maybe to prepare a certain plan for uh, all the participants individually, because we know that time zones are different, that different circumstances, and that is why all our programs are organized in online mode. But if it is possible to uh, come here, according to the situation to the borders, uh, we can 
change the mode and welcome all our international students here. But now it's organized only in online mode. Okay. Both and courses who, and programs. Thank you. And who is responsible for meeting students um, at, the pay, at the airport or um, at uh, the railway station upon their arrival? Is it any official from your university or, may, uh, or what do you do usually? Uh, we have um, a special department, it's called support office. They work with the students who arrive in, at Krasnoyar and there they help with everything, with uh, meeting at the airport, helping with uh, dealing with transport systems. We have a special guide with all the necessary information, how to live and how to survive in Siberia, in Krasnoyar particularly. So yeah, we, we support and uh, we help with everything our international students need. Yeah, very good, because uh, sometimes uh, du during our last webinars, I was told that um, some universities, they uh, call other students, yeah, so to, to go to the <laughs> airport and pick up uh, those uh, uh, students who arrive. Yeah, so if, it's, if it is a, a separate official who is going to meet a student, so it, it means it is well organized at your university. So it means it's a level. Yeah. yeah it's, it's always a pleasure for us to welcome personally just to to make uh, the first impression better and warmer because there is a stereotype that in Zimbabwe there is always cold but our relationships are always warm yeah okay we have a question from um, Iran what is the cost of PhD program at your university uh, the costs are different we have a special uh, document uh, with all the programs and all the courses and now we are currently updating this document so you can contact us and we will send you because now I can tell for sure because all the programs are different and the costs are different, mm -hmm. depending on the program of interest. Okay, thank you, Ms. Olga. And uh, the question is the following. If a student or a future student of your university has a family of his own in his country, do you somehow help uh, him or her to bring at least maybe, maybe his family members uh, to Russia, or it's just uh, for the student, uh, and that that's it. It's a really difficult question because we have been working with such issues for so many years. But uh, today, at the moment, we can't provide uh, families, members of our international students with dormitories. The only option is to rent um, a a room somewhere or a flat. Yeah, we, mm. we know that this program is very. It's very tricky and it's important, but unfortunately now we have no solutions for it. But mm. we're working on it. Okay. And if, uh, for instance, a student, a girl, is giving birth to a child while she's mm -hmm. a student of your university, um, so what are the procedures for her? How uh, do, will you help her? What shall she do? Uh, she, she will suddenly live in our dormitories and provide her and her and her man, if, if there is a father, they both and their child can live in our dormitories. But if this happens in terms of her studies at CT, because if now we have a, a, a student, a, a person, okay, an applicant with her child, with her uh, boyfriend, uh, she um, can arrive and live in our dormitories only uh, with her child uh, or alone. Okay. Okay, okay. Depending on the situations. I understand. Thank you very much. So, uh, there is another question from Fatema Sara, but uh, unfortunately it's in Arabic and uh, I'm not able to read it in, in, in Arabian uh, unless it's German or English. So, let us come to another question. So, what are programs available in English language? But you have already covered this question. So, yes, you have five yes, English taught programs. programs. Maybe can you just uh, kindly once and again one enumerate? Page, yeah. Mm. And we have one more program, PhD Banking. Okay. Uh, and, and those five uh, taught English programs are, just, just name uh, them. Once okay, again. okay. Mm -hmm. Petroleum Chemistry and Refining, Digital Intelligent Control Systems, Data Science and Mathematical Modeling, Biological Engineering and Banking. And yeah. Banking in PhD. Yeah. So we thank you, Rebecca Coleman, for your question. So if you want to have uh, more information, you can go to uh, the uh, virtual booth of uh, Siberian Federal University or directly to their website. Um, it's also it's bilingual, and you can uh, search all the um, information there. So and now the admission to master's degree programs is already open. So yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> 
Okay. No. So yeah, now my colleagues helped me to translate the question from uh, Fatema Sara. Uh, in just a moment, I will. Uh, uh, yeah, I will ask it. Uh, so, what is the deadline to apply next year? Okay. Mm, to apply to uh, to a program or to a course, because actually we have admission to the Russian language course during the whole year because we have different courses. Oh, really? Be about... Really? Yeah. It's for the whole yeah. year? Even. My God. No. Yeah, because we have uh, courses from February to August, from September to August, from October to August, and that is why we try to have this process continue during the whole year. As for the programs, um, I'm not quite sure that we can tell uh, the deadlines for this year because the situation with online and distance. Uh, by the way, is it is... finished uh, the the intake for this year? Is it done already? Or uh, mm -hmm. we we have um, the admission to master's degree for the next year, and we have the admission to the Russian language course from February to August. Okay. Okay. So it means so still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For bachelor's degree programs, we will take it maybe in May, in June, or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your answer. So thank you, Fatema Sara, for your question. It was a nice one. So let us uh, smoothly go to the another question uh, in our live chat. Uh, what is the ranking of the university? Yeah, if you remember in my in my speech when I represented your university, I have already covered this question. But maybe you can uh, also do it with your own words, please, for our audience. It's the question uh, asked. For, from Rose Thompson. Uh, thank you, thank you for a question. Well, I can name only a few of different rankings. For example, we take the 418th place in the best universities in Europe and 61th place in the best universities in Russia. Mm, well, in the ranking of higher education, we take 56th position. And now we take uh, the second position among all the Russian universities from the point of uh, environmental issues. We are the second green university in our country. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I think um, it was the last question in our live chat for today. So, dear students, um, uh, I must admit that this university has uh, several advantages in front of such outstanding and famous universities as Lamanosov State University, Sechin of uh, Medical University, I mean, all those universities uh, which are located in our um, uh, capital, in the second capital of uh, Russian Federation, St. Petersburg. Be first of all, it's uh, the uh, cost, the m lower uh, cost of uh, tuition fees, the cost of accommodation fees. I think I'm uh, more than sure that living expenses are also very much affordable at your uh, city. Uh, more than that, your city is uh, uh, very much remarkable in terms of sizing as well. It's also nice to live and study at your city. It's a very beautiful city to visit and to study. So thank you, thank you very much. Kindly, you are welcome work. to visit the website of uh, Siberian Federal University, become a student of this outstanding university, and enjoy your life um, to your future career. Uh, thank you, Olga, very much uh, for your nice presentation, for your time, for being with us. Thank we, you for your invitation. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we are coming uh, to an end of our webinar with Siberian Federal University, and my colleagues will continue to tell you. Um, more about peculiarities of studying at Russian universities. So join uh, us with the link and see you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.